Here we have two examples of Newton's third law. Newton's third law states that for every action force, there is an equal and opposite reaction force. Observe as Tom hits the train. The train exerts a tremendous force on Tom, and Tom also exerts an equal and opposite force on the train that is not as noticeable because the train has so much more inertia. The law is again illustrated as Tom hits the metal railroad structure above the track. The bullets fired from the gun here represent projectile motion. Projectile motion occurs when the only force acting on the object is gravity. The tip of Bruce Lee's nunchucks, covered with sandpaper, strikes the match and ignites it. The force between the sandpaper and the match is friction, which is the force caused by two surfaces rubbing against each other. Mass is defined by the amount of matter in an object. Weight is the force of gravity. Here, a yellow bird drops a 2,000 pound weight on Tom. Tom, after acquiring a set of makeshift wings, lay in wait for an unsuspecting Jerry. The bird, in rescuing Jerry, unties the wings. As a result, Tom free falls assuming that air resistance is negligible. An object in free fall falls with only the force of gravity acting on it. This diagram demonstrates the moon's circular motion around the Earth. Circular motion is the movement of an object along the circumference of a circle or rotation along a circular path or a circular orbit. Angular motion is the motion of a body about a fixed point or a fixed axis, as of a planet or pendulum. It is equal to the angle passed over at the point or axis by a line drawn to the body. Bill's head rotates on a fixed axis, so this represents angular motion. Newton's first law states that an object at rest will stay at rest or an object in motion will stay in motion unless acted upon by an outside force. The golf ball is at rest until the golf club, an outside force, acts on it. Lightning McQueen speeds up and then turns and speeds up in the other direction. This situation demonstrates acceleration. Acceleration is defined by any change in speed or direction. It is measured in meters per second per second. Here, Katniss shoots an arrow at the gold pin repeatedly. She consistently hits the same spot on the pin demonstrating precision. Precision is the degree to which repeated measurements under unchanged conditions show the same results. 
In this next clip, she shoots the target and hits it dead in the center. This demonstrates accuracy. Accuracy is how close the measurements of a quantity are to that quantity's actual value.